Hello everyone, I am Professor Rekha B. Kumar uh, from the Department of Histopathology at the Sri Shantra Cancer Hospital and Research Center, Bangalore. I will share with you a few of the risk factors associated with prostate cancer. There is no one particular cause that we can pinpoint that leads to prostate cancer. It's usually due to acquired gene mutations which are likely to occur whenever prostate cancer cells grow and divide rapidly. So anything that speeds up this process may make prostate cancer more likely, hormones like the male hormones, androgens, and chronic infections. What we do have a lot of information about are the risk factors that are associated with increased risk of prostate cancer. And we can consider these under four headings, older age, race or ethnicity, obesity, and family history. Coming to age, uh, prostate cancer usually occurs in people over the age of uh, 50 years and it has been said that 80% of men at the age of 80 uh, are likely to develop prostate cancer. But the good news is that the aggressiveness decreases markedly the older the person is. So it's very unlikely that death will occur because of prostate cancer. Coming to race or ethnicity, Asians living in Asia have a lower risk of prostate cancer than blacks or whites in the, de in the developed parts of the world. However, it has been noted that when a low risk Asian moves to the more developed high risk geographical areas, there is a marked increase in prostate cancer incidence. And this has been linked to the adoption of the so-called Western, typical Western diet. So this leads us to the next, next risk factor, which is obesity. Now, obesity is linked to the increased consumption of red meat, decreased consumption of vegetables, use of milk and dairy products, and associated with decreased physical activity. So uh, what we see is changes in dietary habits and lifestyle over the decades in India has led to an increase in prostate cancer as shown in the statistics that are available. We come to the fourth risk factor, which is family history. Now, family history can be considered under two headings. One is when a person, a man, has a history of prostate cancer in a first degree relative, that is either a father or a brother. So then his risk of prostate cancer is double. And if a man has two first degree relatives who have prostate cancer, the risk increases fivefold. The second category are what we call hereditary, hereditary cancers and this is when there's a family history. The most common of these really is when there's a family history of breast cancer in men or women, pancreatic cancer in men or women and ovarian cancer in women. So this group of patients, they usually harbor a mutation in two genes, BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes and it is the BRCA2 gene mutations that are associated with a lifetime increase of 30 to 40 percent of prostate cancer. BRCA1 genes are associated with 15 to 20 percent risk of prostate cancer. I hope this information has been useful to you all. Thank you very much.